Hi, welcome to We Play Along at our Poetry Corner. Now today we're going to be doing poems all about March. Play, play, play along. Come on and play along. Play, play, play along. Come on and play along. So today we're going to be doing poems all about the month of March. Okay, last month we did February. Guess what? Next month we're going to do April. Okay, now to start, now the idea behind our Poetry Corner is to make the poems flow and to make them more visual, maybe easier to remember. So uh, sometimes we're going to be using some signed English, which isn't, which is not American Sign Language. It's a kind of a variation of it, and uh, we're going to do one today because we're going to use the month of March. Now, normally you would finger spell March, M-A-R-C-H, but we're going to use signed English for. March. So it starts with an M and it, it's like the calendar. You're flipping the page. Okay. So you're going to go from an M to an H because uh, it starts with M and it ends with an H. Okay. So this, this poem is called, um, it's part of the calendar that Sarah Coleridge has done. And she's got 12 different stanzas in this poem. And this is the third one because this is March. Okay. So then March brings breezes. Whew. Make, let's make wind. Loud. So you're going to touch your ear and then shake like it's a big loud sound. Loud and shrill. And then stirs the dancing. For dancing you're going to put two fingers on your flat hand and bounce them and kind of move them side to side like they're dancing. Now for daffodil we would normally finger spell that because there's no ASL sign for daffodil. But we're going to use the sign for flower. For flower, you like uh, close your fit, uh, hand up, and you're going to go from side to side of your nose because uh, that's what we do with flowers, right? We smell them. So we're going to just sign the do use the sign for flower on that part, okay? So oh, and this uh, poem was written by, like I said, Sarah Coleridge, and we've done her before, an American poet, and uh, she lived right next door to Henry Wordsworth, and um, She's done fabulous children's poetry. So let's do this stanza from the calendar. March brings breezes, loud and shrill, stirs the dancing daffodil. Our next poem is called Spring. Now the sign for spring is you do like two flowers or two things that are things are growing out of the ground. Okay, so this would be our sign for spring. And it was written by Jeff Moss. Now, I love this guy. He wrote this book. It's called uh, Sesame Street Book of Poetry. He was the first head writer of Sesame Street. And my children and I, we were at an event in Los Angeles years ago when our kids were little. And he signed the book and uh, have fun with these poems, and they did. And this is one of the poems that was in this book. And he's, he's the guy that wrote Rubber Ducky, and I Love Trash, and he's written so many fun songs and poems. So if you ever get a chance to find this book, it's a great one. It's a Sesame Street Book of Poetry by Jeff Moss. Great guy. Okay, so we're gonna do, let me teach you the signs first. Okay, so we got spring. Now, the first, so you take your pointer finger and you're going to come to your thumb. The first flower, and we did that from the last poem, flower came where, and this, you just shake your pointer finger, where there, and I'm going to point out there, where there used to be snow. And we're going to wiggle our fingers. We kind of float them on down. I'm, point to yourself. Glad, and you have to smile because this is a happy sign. Glad or happy. Glad that flowers. Now, for remember, you're going to take, you've got a thumb down here and you've got a, a 10 hand and a 10 hand up here. This is a number 10, okay? You're going to come from your uh, head down to your other thumb. Remembered to grow. Cute, huh? Okay, so spring is two. But grow is just one, right? So let's do this poem called Spring by Jeff Moss. 
the first flower came where there used to be snow. I'm glad that flowers remembered to grow. Now this next poem is entitled March. Okay, and it's by Elizabeth Coatsworth, um, famous American uh, female poet. She lived in New York and upstate Maine, and uh, she's written over 90 plus books for children and lots of children's poetry. So uh, these are the signs you need to know, okay? Uh, blue, remember this is a letter, or letter B. When you flick it twice, it becomes the color blue. A blue J, and we're gonna go ahead and fingerspell this one, J-A-Y, it's a short word, J-A-Y. This, this is a sign for bird, okay? But we've got two birds in this poem, so we're gonna, and they're short names, so we're just gonna fingerspell them. So a blue J, a blue day. D, make a D hand and you're gonna put your elbow on your flat hand here and it comes across. It's like, the, imagine the sun is going across the sky all day long. A good flat hand to your mouth, down to your hand, beginning. One crow. So again, there's no sign for crow, so we're gonna go C-R-O-W, melting. So you're gonna, uh, like your hand, it's, well, it's sign for melting, okay? It's like bleh, kind of melting snow, springs, we come out twice, winning. You just kind of grab it. And like, woohoo, we just won, okay? So let's do the poem, March by Elizabeth Coatsworth. A blue jay, a blue day, a good beginning. One crow melting snow, springs winning. Our next poem is called The March Wind, and I couldn't, it was, Anonymous, it was in a Mother Goose um, nursery rhyme book, and I found it and I love it, so we're gonna do it. Okay, here we go. It's called March Wind. So remember, March Wind. We're just gonna blow our, like move our hands, like, because this is what the wind does. So this is what the March Wind, and it's like the March Wind is talking throughout this poem. So he says, I come to work. You're gonna t make two fists and you're gonna Twist them like this, like you're building something. Work as well as, so you make a Y hand and you're gonna go um, like it's the same as, or as well as play. We make two Y hands and we flick them like this twice. As play, I'll tell, because the words are coming out of my mouth, tell you what I do. Just kind of move your hands like that, okay? I whistle, so make it, um, your hands up here like you were whistling. I whistle all the live long day. Woohoo, woohoo, that's fun, huh? Okay, I toss, so you can do throw. I toss the, now this is, would be a tree, so you're gonna make like a branch coming out of the tree. The branches up and down and shake them, shake them to and fro. It'd be like back and forth, but to and fro. I Now this is a sign for leaf. So we're just gonna whirl this leaf all around. I whirl the leaves in flocks of brown. Make a B and come straight down your face because everybody's face is some shade of brown. brown. And Send them, again, again, we're still throwing them. Send them high, you do that with an H hand, and low. I strew the twigs upon the ground. So you're just going to circle around like you're, uh, this is our land, our ground. The frozen, so you're gonna take your hands out like this and, and bring your uh, fingers back, because they're cold, right? 
the frozen earth. You just make a flat hand and you're going to go on either side of that. Earth, I sweep, like you're doing a broom. I blow the children, like you're um, tapping their little heads, the children round and round and wake them. So you put your hands, fingers by your eyes and open your eyes. Wake the flowers from, bring your hand out, finger out from um, your pointer finger from sleep. So this is a longer poem. The first three we did were pretty short. This is a little bit longer, but it's really a fun one to do. So you ready? Okay. The, the March wind. I come to work as well as play. I'll tell you what I do. I whistle all the live long day. Woohoo! Woohoo! I toss the branches up and down and shake them to and fro. I whirl the leaves in flocks of brown and send them high and low. I strew the twigs upon the ground, the frozen earth I sweep. I blow the children round and round and wake the flowers from sleep. Now our next poem is written by Phyllis McGinley and she's an American poet. Um, she's written lots of children's poems and children's books. Uh, it's called Daylight Savings Time. Now I have to apologize to uh, Miss McGinley because um, I'm changing one of the words in her poem. Daylight savings time, that's when we turn the clocks ahead and we lose an hour. And it used to be always in April. Well, the last couple years, uh, the United States, we've switched it to March. So where it says March in the poem, it used to say April, but so I apologize, I've changed your poem. but. To make it work for today, we have to do March. If they ever switch it back to April, I promise I'll do it again and we'll have it be in April. Okay? Okay. All right. So daylight savings time. There is no real sign for that. You would fingerspell the whole thing. So we're just going to say daylight savings time. Okay? So in spring, remember that sign? When maple, it's a tree. Um, so we're going to go tree maple buds and a bud is a little flower buds are red red you take your pointer finger to your bottom lip because everybody's lips are some shade of red red we turn so we're going to come around our finger like that we turn the clock the clock you're going to tap your wrist like that's where your watch would be and like you're going to hang it on the wall that's clock we we turn the clock an hour. So you're going to make a D hand, We've got a flat hand here, and this one's going to go all the way around. Like that's what the hour hand does on a clock, right? The hour ahead. So this hand comes ahead of that one, comes ahead. Which means, you take two fingers and we're going to twist them like that, which means each march so this is where this is where I changed it. Okay, so it was used to be April, but each uh, March that arrives, we lose. So you're going to take you can do we if you want to, but we lose an hour out of our lives. Two L hands, you're going to come up. This would be life or lives. Okay, for who? You're going to take your thumb to your chin and wiggle your index finger, but who cares? And we're asking a question, so our face has to look like it. It's asking a question. Who cares when autumn? So you're going to make a, um, put your hand down here by your elbow. You've got this arm coming up this way, and this one's going to go like, like a leaf. 
so this is a sign for autumn because that's when all the leaves fall. When autumn birds in flocks fly. Now south, you're going to make an S hand and you're going to go down. This would be north, this is south. Back we turn the clocks. So back we turn the clocks. And so regain. So that means we get. And so regain a lovely, you know, lovely thing that you're going to bring your hand up here and whoo, it's coming down. That missing hour we lost last spring. Got it? Okay, so a little bit longer, but here we go. Daylight Savings Time by Phyllis McGinley. In spring, when maple buds are red, we turn the clock an hour ahead, which means each March that arrives, we lose an hour out of our lives. But who cares? When autumn birds in flocks fly southward, back we turn the clocks. And so regain a lovely thing that missing hour we lost last spring. Now our last March poem is about one of my favorite days. I just love March because my favorite color is green, hence green, okay? So the sign for green, green starts with the letter G, so you're gonna uh, make a G here and you're gonna flick it twice and this is the color green. And this poem is called Wearing of the Green. It's by Eileen Fisher. She was born in Michigan, but she moved to Boulder, Colorado and lived there for a long time. She was there for decades. She's a children's poet, children's author, and she loved writing about holidays. So this one's all about St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so wearing, you're going to take your hands just like, because we wear clothes, right? Wearing of the green. All right, so these are the, these are the signs that we're going to do for the poem. And re remember, you don't have to do every sign. You really don't. If you just want to do like the last word in every line, you can, or just whatever's going to help you remember it, but have fun with it. All right. So it ought, or it should, it ought to come in April. Now, remember we're doing signed English for our month. So April starts with an A. So you're going to come from with an A and down to an L. April or better yet in May. Now for May, you're going to make an M and it ends in a Y. Because remember March is an M and an H. Well, that's why May has to be different. So, and we're flipping that page in the calendar. In May, when everything is green as green, and then uh, for I, for mean, as in I, I mean, St. Patrick's Day. Now, St. Patrick's has its own sign. Now, St. Patrick is um, from Ireland, or he lived in Ireland, and he was famous for driving the snakes out of Ireland. That's the, the story behind it. So we're going to make like little things here. We're going to go across our, kind of swipe our hand twice. St. Patrick, that would be his sign. St. Patrick's day. So make a D hand coming all the way across, right? Okay. With still a week, so you're going to bring your hand or finger across here because uh, like you're looking at a calendar and a week goes along that way. A week of winter, winter's cold, this wearing of the green seems rather out of season, and we're going to do a C sign here, and because season in ASL you spell it S E A S O N, and then you go winter, uh, spring, fall, and or summer and fall, so it's a little bit complicated. We want it to be just 
fun, right? So we're going to do season, like it's going all the way around. It's rushing, whew, it's hurrying, rushing things I mean, but then maybe you're going to kind of flip your hand, you know, move your hand with a question on your face, but maybe March is better when all, you're going to scoop it up, all is done and said, point to your mouth because that's where you say things. St. Patrick brings a promise. Now for promise, you're going to come to your mouth. It's like it's a true thing you're saying, a promise, but it's like a vow. You're going to come in and you're going to like seal it on your hand. A promise, a four leaf. Clover is grass, so we're going to do the sign for grass. So it would be a four leaf clover promise, a green all over promise of springtime just ahead. So let's do the poem, Wearing of the Green by Eileen Fisher. It ought to come in April, or better yet in May, when everything is green as green, I mean St. Patrick's Day, with still a week of winter, this wearing of the green seems rather out of season. It's rushing things, I mean, but maybe March is better when all is done and said. St. Patrick brings a promise of four leaf clover promise, a green all over promise of springtime just ahead. So you have lots of March poems to choose from. Maybe you and your children, or if, you have, if you're a teacher, you in your classroom, you can have the children learn a poem and recite it using ASL. It would just be really a fun thing to do. So next month, Look forward to April, okay? We'll see you next time. Play, play, play along.